Hello friends, thank you so much for clicking on this video. I really hope that you will like and subscribe um, if you like the instruction that I'm giving you. So today we're going to be talking about how to put tapes on our violin. Now, I know there's kind of like a debate on whether or not you should use tapes, but in my opinion, everybody should use tapes. I think it's so much harder to learn without them. And it, you have to remember, it's not forever, right? Once you have a good year of like learning exactly where your fingers go and how everything should sound, you're not gonna need them anymore, okay? So I think this is actually super important and will help you just develop so much faster instead of just working on intonation and twinkle for like a year. You know what I'm saying? So, um, first of all is the tape. Now, I don't recommend this type of tape. I think it's just like a scotch-like colored tape. It's a little bit too thick. Um, but I do recommend um, pinstripe um, tape made for cars. And I will link a description box, a link in the description box. I'm gonna be putting three tapes on our violin. Okay, so first thing we're gonna do, we take this tape, I can find the end of it, there it is. We're gonna get a nice, like, good size piece out, okay? Tear it off, and now I'm gonna slide it underneath, underneath my bridge here. Take both on both sides, and then just slide it. I'm gonna place this first tape right about an inch from the um, the nut, and I recommend taking a tuner and then you can pluck it and see if it says the note B on the A string. Just sounds sort of like that. If it says B flat, you know you need to move your tape a little bit higher, so a little bit further down. This way, that's higher. And then lower is that way. Okay, because I've done this so much, and I think mine's pretty accurate. Okay, so again, get a tuner. If you have like tape like this, it's just way too long. Then you just tear it off. Wrap a bit around. Something like that. There's our first tape. Now, second tape, we're gonna do the same thing. Get in this piece. It was too long last time. Put it underneath the strings. Underneath the strings and then slide it on up. And this one should be about an inch away from that first thing. Maybe that's a little too high. It's a little too high. Right about there ish. And this should read C sharp. So when you pluck it, you put your finger, you put any finger, it doesn't matter. It's just, it should say C sharp and your finger should be on the A string. And you just wrap it, it looks something like that. And then for our third finger tape, do the same thing. And up. It's gonna be like pretty close to that C sharp tape, the second finger tape. Just a little bit of space in there. And that is gonna read D. You can also check it with your open D. It should sound the same. So again, have your tuner out, pluck it. You can even get your violin up and play it if you want. And then if it says D flat, flat is a little symbol like that. <laughs> Then it's too low and you need to move it up higher. And if it says sharp, the little hashtag symbol, you know it's too high and you need to move it back down lower. There you go. You have all three tapes on your violin and you are ready to go. Um, so we don't use our, our fourth finger, our pinky, until much later in violin learning. So you don't have to worry about that quite yet. So yeah, if you guys have any questions, um, please feel free to reach out to me. If you want me to see, you know, how you did your tapes, I'd love to love to see that. Um, thank you guys so much again for clicking on this video. I really hope that you will like and subscribe.
I don't know if they're going to be there, but whatever. I'm new at edi editing. It's fine. Um, so, yeah. I will see you guys in the next one.